In the last video, we used the BMP-180 barometric pressure sensor to measure atmospheric pressure and temperature. In this video, we're going to use it to measure altitude. Having a way to measure altitude is essential in drones, remote-controlled airplanes, and weather balloons. Altitude measurements can also supplement GPS data, maps, and navigation tools. Atmospheric pressure changes depending on your altitude. Think back to that column of air we talked about in the last video. This one inch by one inch column of air rises from the surface of the earth to the very edge of the atmosphere. If you're standing on the ground beneath this column, you would feel a pressure of one atmosphere, or 14.7 pounds per square inch. Now imagine you're in an airplane, or at the top of a really high mountain. Now there's less air above you, and less air mass pressing down on you, so the atmospheric pressure would be less than one atmosphere. This relationship between altitude and atmospheric pressure is what allows us to measure altitude with the BMP-180. The BMP-180 can detect very small changes in atmospheric pressure. It's so sensitive, in fact, that we can use it to measure altitude with an accuracy of just a few inches. The relationship between atmospheric pressure and altitude looks like this. The y-axis shows the pressure in hectopascals and the x-axis shows altitude in kilometers. At very low altitudes, the pressure is near 1013 hectopascals. The pressure decreases along this curve until it reaches zero at the very top of the atmosphere. This curve follows an equation called the International Barometric Formula. The International Barometric Formula solves for altitude as a function of pressure. We only need to know two things to solve for altitude. P, which is the atmospheric pressure at your current location. This will be measured by the BMP-180. And P0, which is the atmospheric pressure at some base level. The pressure you use for P0 depends on where you want to measure the altitude from. If you want to know your altitude from sea level, you can use the atmospheric pressure at sea level. You might do this if you're measuring altitude for navigation or mapping purposes, or to track your elevation along a trail. If you want to know your altitude from the ground, you can use the atmospheric pressure measured from the ground at your current location. You might use this measurement if you're building a weather balloon or drone, where you want to know the height of the sensor off the ground. The atmospheric pressure at sea level can be found a couple different ways. The most accurate way is to use the BMP-180 to measure it, and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. But you can also find maps online that will tell you the atmospheric pressure at sea level for your current location. The atmospheric pressure measured from ground can be found using the BMP-180 pressure measurement taken at ground level. I'll show you how to do that too. We're going to connect the BMP-180 to the Arduino just like we did in the last video. The SDA pin on the sensor connects to Arduino pin A4. And the SCL pin on the sensor connects to pin A5. Ground connects to ground. And the VCC pin of the sensor can connect to either 3.3 volts or 5 volts. Remember if you're using another type of Arduino board, the I2C pins might be in different locations. Okay, now let's look at an example sketch that outputs the altitude of the sensor from sea level or from the ground. Most of this sketch is identical to the sketch we saw in the barometric pressure and temperature video. We still need to include the libraries and create a BMP-180 object. Then we declare a float variable called P0, which holds the P0 pressure in hectopascals. This is where you put the barometric pressure of the point you want to measure the altitude from. If you want to measure the altitude from sea level, enter the barometric pressure at sea level here. I'll show you how to measure that with the BMP-180 in a couple minutes. If you want to measure the altitude relative to the ground, enter the barometric pressure of your current location, close to the ground. Use the barometric pressure sketch from the last video to get that. I'm going to measure altitude relative to the ground in this example, 
So a few minutes ago, I put my BMP-180 on the ground and measured the pressure. This is the value I got. In the setup, we initialize the serial monitor and the sensor. In the loop, all of the variables are the same, except for this double variable called out. Out will hold the altitude measurements. We still need all of these if statements to get the temperature and pressure readings from the sensor. In the last if statement, we use the altitude function that comes with the BMP-180 library. This function takes two arguments. The first argument is P, the pressure measured by the BMP-180. The second argument is P0, which is either your ground level pressure or your sea level pressure, depending on where you want the altitude measured from. The altitude function takes these parameters and runs them through the international barometric formula we saw earlier to get a value for the altitude in meters. The result of that calculation is stored in the alt variable. Now all we have to do is print out the results. First we serial print the word altitude. Then we print the out variable. And finally we print the word meters and end the line. Okay, let's check this out. So I have my BMP-180 connected here. We're already getting some altitude measurements coming through. I have my Arduino on a table right now, which is about one meter off the ground. So these numbers are about right. All right, so this is my altitude from the ground, since I set my P0 equal to the pressure I measured close to ground level. Now I'm gonna show you how to measure altitude relative to sea level. Sea level pressure is the pressure at your current altitude that's been adjusted to make it look like it was taken at sea level. Using sea level pressure removes the effect of altitude from your barometric pressure measurements. So even if you live far away from the ocean, you can still find a sea level pressure for your exact location. To calculate it, you just need to know your altitude. Sea level pressure is calculated with the same international barometric formula we saw earlier. It's just been rearranged to solve for P0. P0 is the sea level pressure at your current location. P is still the pressure measured by the BMP-180. And altitude is the altitude at your current location. I'd recommend using a phone app to find your current altitude. They're easy to use and pretty accurate too. Otherwise, Sites like elevationmap.net will detect your location and give you an altitude measurement. The sketch for finding your sea level pressure is very similar to the altitude sketch. There are just a few differences. Here we declare a float variable called out, which holds the altitude of your location in meters. This is where you put the altitude measurement you got online or from your phone app. In the loop, we have a new double variable called sea level pressure, which will hold the sea level pressure measurement. In the last if statement, we use the sea level function provided by the BMP-180 library. This function uses the international barometric formula to calculate the sea level pressure. We pass the p variable as the argument, which holds the pressure measured by the BMP-180. Then we pass it the alt variable, which holds your current altitude. Now we print out the result to the serial monitor. So now, take this measurement and use it for P0 in the altitude sketch we saw earlier. And that will give you your altitude relative to sea level. In the next video, we're gonna look at digital magnetometers. Magnetometers detect magnetic fields and can be used as digital compasses. 
They're perfect for projects that use navigation and guidance systems. The 3-in-1 Smart Car and IoT Learning Kit from SunFounder is a hands-on, all-included electronics kit that is perfect for anyone who wants to learn how to master the Arduino. The kit comes with an Arduino, 22 different sensors and modules, breadboards, jumper wires, and everything else you need to build a bunch of fun and interesting projects. Learn about robotics by building a remote-controlled smart car that can be controlled with an infrared remote controller or drive on its own and avoid obstacles or fall on a line. Learn about the Internet of Things with a project that lets you monitor the temperature, humidity, and light level of a room from an app on your smartphone. And build a plant monitor that tracks the temperature, humidity, light intensity, and soil moisture and displays it on your smartphone so you can keep your plants watered remotely. It's a super cool kit and I had lots of fun building all the projects in it. So click the link in the description below to order the kit from SunFounder.